Well, thanks for hanging out with me this morning, Colorado. Let's continue our conversation with two time Emmy winner Jamie Boyle. So, Jamie, although Anonymous Sister brings light to truly a global issue, um, it's also something very dear to you. This is an actual local story. Tell me about that. Yeah, so um, while I live in New York now, my whole family is still based in Colorado. The whole film takes place in Colorado, uh, except for some tiny segments that kind of pull out to the broader picture. But um, my, you know, I will always consider Colorado home. My sister and I were the sixth generation born on the land that my family homesteaded back in the 1800s when they came mm -hmm. over from Ireland. My sister is raising her kids in Colorado. Uh, my cousins are too. And it's, it's very important to me to see some headway made on this issue globally. Of course, that's the goal. Um, but, you know, in Colorado, people don't think of Colorado in terms of this epidemic as as they think of places like Appalachia or the Rust Belt um, and how dire it is there, but it, it's absolutely as dire in Colorado. Colorado saw its worst year on record um, in 2020 for opioid overdoses as a lot of states did because so much was exacerbated by the COVID-19 pandemic. Mm -hmm. um, but it was so important to me to bring this story back to Colorado where it started um, I have such strong family ties there. And, um, you know, these were all prescriptions from some of the best doctors in the state. Uh, and, and so, you know, the, there was not malicious intention and I never want to, um, claim that there was, there was a lot of, and there still is a lot of miseducation around this issue. And it just permeates every aspect of the medical community. Um, but it was, it's so important to bring this back to Colorado for us. So we're grateful to Denver Film Festival for helping us do that. Absolutely. Now your film will be followed by a special panel preceding the film and what can viewers expect? How is this one different? Sure. Yeah. So the film, I mean, the film in general takes a very up close, intimate look at the issue. I felt like, you know, I felt even as a teenager that uh, if people could see this issue from inside a family, if it was happening to their sister, to their mother, to their daughter, um, we wouldn't have much of a problem anymore because not only does it give you the anecdotal evidence to, um, to kind of combat what you're seeing, mm -hmm. but it, um, it, it allows people to relate in a different way and to see that this issue can and does happen to anybody um, and everybody. And uh, I think that is a saving grace for a lot of people I've learned just from talking to them. Sure. So in the panel, we wanted to bring, we really wanted to equip people with the expert knowledge that I've had the, the pleasure of getting through making this film. So we're really excited because we're going to have Colorado's Attorney General Phil Weiser there to open it up for us. Um, he just won litigation against opioid manufacturers, and he will be in charge of obviously allocating the resources that are coming out of that settlement statewide. Um, he's been a huge, huge, amazing proponent of making some real headway on this issue. We will also have a woman named Dr. Jane Valentine, who started an organization called Physicians for Responsible Prescribing. Um, she was one of the first to publish research and speak out about the dangers of opioid prescribing for long-term chronic pain um, and how she was seeing in her patients that it can actually exacerbate pain. They can exacerbate uh -huh. pain over time. So she's incredible. Her wealth of knowledge is so deep on this issue. She knows um, how we got here, the ins and outs of substance use disorder. So the panel will basically cover how we got to where we are and where we're going. Um, we're hoping that it will arm people, families, the general public, anybody dealing with this issue with the information that they need um, to recognize it in themselves and their family members to avoid it, hopefully in the future. And if you're in recovery, we, you know, we really want to embrace all forms of recovery through this film and through this work. And this conversation, this panel will launch a nationwide impact campaign that we're doing that accompanies the film as a part of that educational components to just bring people up to speed to where we feel like everybody really needs to be on this issue in order to see some kind of change. Of course. Well, I love what you're doing through your film and we look forward to seeing it. Much success to you, Jamie. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you for having me.
the Denver Film Festival is back with 233 features, short films, and more. It's happening November 3rd through the 14th with the full slate of in-person screenings, red carpets, special presentations, as well as a robust offering of virtual screenings. Get your tickets at denverfilm.org. But if you just can't wait, well, I have a pair of tickets to give away right now. Email me at mycoco at 9news.com and put movie in the subject line and good luck to everyone.